Jacinda resorted to rugby measures to stop Gary Penrice and became officially cautioned. Alan Walsh brought entertaining skills for the big crowd. Laying on a chance, but Carl Schott's finish found that man Nigel Martin perfectly positioned. When Mark Gavin produced a strong city effort, again Martin showed the positional sense and safe hands that had brought the scouts to Bristol. Early in the second half, Rovers break through. It's Devon White's persistence making the opening that Gary Radar Boots Penrice directs into the top corner of City's net. So the third Rovers City game in succession that Penrice has scored the only goal. Now it's Rovers goalkeeper saving them when Scott McGarvey gets clean through. No wonder neither Liverpool nor Manchester City are going to get Martin or Penrice unless they offer very big transfer fees. City's fans saw their team make the chances to deny Rovers a 1,000th league win, but City's finishing was always letting them down. So that should intensify City's efforts this week to buy a striker. Next, it was Nigel Market, Martin, Nigel Hawkins, who couldn't beat Martin, who by the final whistle had become, with Gary Penrice, Rovers' special heroes. I asked Penrice afterwards if he wants to leave soon.